Hello, my dear subscribers, my crochet friends. I hope you are staying safe and even in these hard times you are still doing fine. And today I'm glad, especially for those who are total beginners, to introduce this beautiful triangle scarf or shawl or you can call it whatever, maybe bactus. It's something very easy. You can see it's very big. It's really very light. I cannot uh, exactly share with you how light is it, but really light. And I love the colors. Actually, initially, this is a sock yarn. I will write the brand name. It's called Katia Bombay Sock Yarn. That has a beautiful color pattern. You know, you can see the colors better. Uh, it's green, all the shades of green and gray, and really I love it. It's good for summer or early autumn or actually it's quite warm, but more than that, if I had two balls of this yarn, I would make it bigger, but one is also okay. It's light. It's good for everyday use. You can dress it with a t-shirt or dress whatever <laughs> you can use any yarn actually and this stitch is just awesome i don't know why many people call it japanese shawl maybe it was originally created in japan this pattern but it's very easy i think one of the basic patterns just netting netting is very popular you can have it also back like this and just tie it like this if you want to protect or actually there are many ways how you can dress it as any shawl or scarf and the good thing is that it's so easy you don't have to count anything you don't have to change the pattern just the squares make it really awesome and doesn't look like an old retro style it looks <laughs> very modern one and uh, really you can use any yarn any hook size you can make them bigger or smaller i have used a uh, hook i think 2.5 millimeters for this yarn but you can use other types of hooks because the uh, netting is so easy it doesn't require exact size of yarn hook and whatever you have you can use whatever yarn you have you can use the wool it will make it warm you can use the cotton or other summer yarns that will make it just lighter and maybe if there is just a bit of chilly wind you can put it on you like that and it will protect you so I will uh, show you now this pattern and I'm sure you can make it and after you make it you can tag me on Instagram so I'm very curious to see what you will get at the end and I hope you really like this one because I really enjoy making this shawl and it took really fast I think in two days maximum you can make this size shawl I will give you all the information that I just wrote for you. It's very easy, really, the pattern for beginners. Even if you are a complete beginner, don't worry, I'm sure you can make it. Uh, the yarn that I use has really beautiful colors and it's for socks. Sometimes you can use sock yarn for other projects. Don't be scared, they are very nice because the sock yarn is very durable and normally col comes with multiple colors so you can try with other projects i use sock yarn not just for socks so this in particular is katia bombay to sock yarn it has 41 percent cotton wool 13 percent and then polyamide 74%, 7%. Maybe I missed something. You can Google this one, and really, this is uh, the name of the yarn. It's very good. 
it's 100 gram 460 meters you can use any other yarn it will work perfectly uh, for this shawl normally I prefer thin yarn because with thin yarn normally you don't have much patience to make other projects but this one works really fast that's why even with very thin cotton it will work perfectly and it will be really lightweight but you can make experiment of course always be creative expand your creativity and try whatever project you think is better for you so uh, you can use a hook slightly larger than recommended because the pattern is really doesn't require any you know specific that you need to stay to the hook that it's recommended and now i will show you and i will just use normal cotton yarn to show you how really easy this pattern i really want you to fall in love with it because it's so easy so fast here is written chain five and join into slip stitch but i will show you later the way i do it so we make a slip knot then chain five one two three four five and according to the pattern you must join the last and the first with a slip stitch and start but uh, and then you will chain six two four six but uh, I prefer to start with the um, magic green so you can choose the way you prefer I like the magic green and normally I start all the projects with magic green that require the joining chain and so right now I can uh, chain six one two three four five six and it says one double crochet into the magic ring sorry my baby is making a lot of noise yarn over insert into the magic ring if you chain five like according to the pattern just uh, chain insert into the chain i will insert into the magic ring and make one double crochet so right now it says chain two chain two and we are going to finish with a treble treble means two times yarn over insert into the magic ring or chain of five depends what you decided to go with and you will pull through two three times now i'm going to pull it and it looks like that so the next row we start with chain six as usual you will always start with a chain of six two three four five six now i will have a look of my baby that's having some natural process and now we are going according to the pattern double crochet into the same double crochet of the previous row where we have the chain six it means exactly here into the same one where the chain six comes from and we have to make double crochet then chain two and make double crochet into the one where we had double crochet so double crochet on top of double crochet here we have our chain of six of the previous row so according to the pattern you must crochet there the double crochet is this one the double crochet 
just go into this chain then chain two it's here chain two and finish with treble so make it two times yarn over and insert into this space you don't have to insert into the chain nothing just go under this chain of six and make a treble that's how it works i show you another row and you will be able to continue like that so always start with chain of six two four five six and uh, now you know where i'm sorry i'm a crochet blogger who has a lot of noises from all around the dogs the babies so double crochet into the same uh where you had the chain six now chain two and double crochet where you have double crochet you see how easy this pattern and how fast actually and you don't need too much yarn to make a big show yarn over go into the double crochet chain two marco and double crochet now chain two make one double crochet chain two and treble into the same space so easy that i could continue with you to make this blue shell and as you can see you just go chain six then the, between the double crochet you have chain of two where you have double crochet you double crochet and here you finish with double crochet into this under this chain or into this chain and with treble and you go on until you have the right size so it will look like that if you have different colors it will have this nice effect so generally you see this one is thinner yarn smaller hook and they have smaller holes this one is thicker yarn and bigger holes anything you prefer it looks awesome on anything because netting it's really really lovely technique for crochet so i hope you understand if you still have questions you can always uh, call me oh sorry write or comment i'm sorry these nights i'm not sleeping enough because of my baby so i can say a lot of useless words thanks for watching and see you again next time who was making the noises our baby <laughs> yeah say hi